Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a prefab home with a slick signature look. Prefab homes come in a lot of shapes, sizes, and price points, but one that seems to be growing in popularity is those with a small footprint. I don't know if it's people looking to downsize, price, or just a fad, but compact home options always seem to get a lot of interest on the channel. With that being said, not all small homes are created equal. There are certain elements in a smaller footprint home that can set it apart and completely change how it feels to improve the overall living experience. And that's what we want. A nice bonus is something that can withstand hurricane winds and heavy snow loads so it can be placed virtually anywhere. And today I found something that's ticking both boxes. The company I'm talking about is called Wheelhouse with their small footprint homes and motto of living large with less. What I'm going to do is check out the company, show you their models, and get into their pricing. Wheelhouse is a Utah-based company that was created all the way back in 2006 and introduced their motto of living large with less. At that time, they came out with their first affordable yet truly high-end tiny homes and modular homes. First things first, there are many, many new companies coming into this space recently, and most of us likely have at least one set of ginch that's been around longer than a lot of them. As much as I'd love to see every single company succeed for years and years, statistically, that isn't going to be the case. Wheelhouse is already already passed the test of time, being in the game for 17 years. And if you've got Ginch anywhere close to that age, evaluate. It's probably just a waistband at this point. They believe that less is more, less building materials, less square footage, less waste, and have built their business around high quality craftsmanship, materials, and design. The original idea for Wheelhouse came when the founder, Jamie, went to buy something similar for himself, but couldn't find anything that met his standards. So he decided to start building them himself. Apparently, he grew up living in log cabins and wanted to mix the quality and durability of those with his values of green production and modern design. The finished result is Wheelhouse in its current form, which has kind of a signature look that is pretty sharp. They say high R-value insulation makes our homes incredibly energy efficient, which reduces impact on the environment we love. In fact, all wheelhouse cabins exceed the requirements for the gold standard with the U.S. Green Building Council. To get the feels right inside their homes, it's noted that they build homes with high ceilings and oversized windows and doors throughout all models to make the homes feel large. An interesting thing about what wheelhouse is building is they build modular homes, tiny homes, and RVs. And when you go through their models, some of them say they have the ability to be a modular design. The reason we care is because certain builds can go in certain areas, and it's nice to know what they're willing and able to build. For example, a park model is perfect for a park model resort community, but if you want to put the home on a foundation in your backyard as an ADU, it likely makes more sense to build it as a modular. It's just nice to have options, you know? To get your hands on one of their units, the process depends on how you're looking to buy. It looks like they do build production units that can be viewed before purchase, then you just sign on the dotted line and take delivery. However, if you're looking to do something custom, the process is a little bit more in depth. They've broken their process down into four steps. Before you even get into the steps, you can set up an initial consultation to discuss the different models available and figure out what suits your fancy. Once you've got that figured out, you're looking at a $2,500 design deposit and a $1,500 retainer. When that's handled, then you're able to get into the process. Step one in their process is design, step two is build, step three is deliver, and step four is installation. It's noted in the build step that depending on workload, a home with customized options and colors can be built in about 120 days, which is pretty good. By now, everyone should have a basic idea of who they are and what they're up to, so let's get to the good stuff, the homes. Wheelhouse currently has three models listed on the website with a fourth listed as coming soon. These are the park model plans that can also be built modular as noted in their descriptions. All of the models listed have a footprint of 400 square feet, so I guess we'll start with what seems to be the iconic wheelhouse look. When I think of wheelhouse, the first thing that comes to my mind is their wedge. The description says, with a striking roof line and exterior siding built from reclaimed Wyoming snow fencing, the wedge is the cornerstone of our models, combining a rustic feel with a sustainable, built-to-last mentality in one structure. The footprint of the wedge is 10 and a half feet wide by 38 feet long with a nine foot deck. The way they have the wedge set up, they've got a sliding glass door on the end of the home that opens into the living space. Beyond the living room, they've got a kitchen, which comes standard with a two burner cooktop, dishwasher, fridge, and microwave, and they've got upgrades available to deck it out throughout the entire home. After the kitchen, you head down the hall, and they've got the bathroom on the left before the bedroom on the end. It's noted that the bedroom has enough space for a 
king or queen bed with two side tables and they've got a closet for storage. A must have really. To me the standout feature on the wedge is the look. Whether it's built for a park model resort or as a modular, it's going to turn a few heads. The next model available from Wheelhouse is almost the exact same with a completely different look known as the Wedge Caboose. As the name suggests, the Wedge Caboose has a similar roofline to the Wedge but with a caboose on the back end of the home that's used for a loft. The description says the Wedge Caboose is one of our original flagship models and the first lofted model design. With an appearance like the Caboose, final car in a train, it offers stairs or a ladder into a sleeping loft that adds an additional 120 20 square feet that's great for sleeping quarters. If we look at the exterior of the wedge caboose, it does have the same look as the wedge for a little bit less than half of the home. Then it's got the lofted area attached to the back for the extra space to get horizontal and close your eyes for an extended period of time. To me, this really makes sense as a park model that's going to be used as a vacation home because if you've got kids, you get the extra sleeping area in the loft. I guess you could always use it for storage as well. People do seem to love storage. The floor plan is the same going living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom with the loft above. Cool layout for those who like the wedge design looking for some extra bed space. My personal favorite exterior out of everything currently offered by Wheelhouse is the lookout. Before I even bothered to look at the layout of this home, I had decided it was my favorite strictly based on appearance. Turned out the floor plan works as well. The description says our lookout model provides you with a spacious covered deck that allows for protection from the elements. Similar to the wedge model and floor plan, the lookout provides a stronger connection to the outdoor elements through the use of energy efficient windows that allow extra light into the room. Then it goes on to say the lookout provides the space as their other tiny homes with the ability to go modular as we've seen. I'm curious to see what people think about this home because I've noticed in the comments there is a fine line between not enough windows and too many windows with a shocking amount of people worried about wildlife getting in. Is that a major concern? As long as I had some kind of window covering for the windows on the lookout, I think it would be great to have the option for that much natural light. However, I do like to be able to shut in when I'm teeing off on a bunch of snacks and watching a movie. Nobody needs to see that. The floor plan of the lookout again goes living space, kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom with a few minor differences. It has the option for a corner kitchen with no island and the bedroom has a sliding glass door. My pick out of everything they have is the lookout. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The wedge starts at $149,500. The wedge caboose starts at $174,000. $500 and the lookout starts at $164,000. Wheelhouse is a Salt Lake City based prefab home company building tiny homes, park models, and modular homes. They have some really cool exteriors available and a unique signature look that I think looks awesome. They've been in the business of offsite construction since way back in 2006 and it's nice to know they've got a bit of a track record. There is a lot of interesting stuff going on over in Utah, so I'll definitely be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.